Yeah. It's Friday. Yeah. We have Ryan with us today. <clears throat> Ryan. How we doing, everybody? What's up, man? Uh, so you're, you're plugging still... along. Another day. Another yeah. fire to put out, but that's part of the job. All right, right. So, uh, what brings you into the stream today? Yeah, so I wanted to uh, come in here. I'm very excited. We are um, so happy to uh, welcome back to the the Eastern Hillsboro Greater Brandon community, the Brandon Fourth of July Parade. It is back, nice. ladies and gentlemen. Yes, that is awesome. So it's been a long time coming. Uh, the last three years, it wasn't done. Uh, but prior to that, you know, it's been a it's been a staple in the community for for over 60 years. Uh, traditionally, it was one of the largest parades in the state of Florida, and and a lot of people don't even know about it. Yeah, it's wild. Yeah, my kids, my kids love to do it. We were actually in the parade a while back when we had Lucy, our dog. I don't know if you remember Lucy, the old, old pit bull. Yeah, she rode along with us. And everything we were working with some nonprofit and my kids have always loved the parade i hate crowds and sweaty people so it's not something i was always like excited about but i'm not i'm, I'm from alabama so the parade was kind of new to me and my kids loved it dude yeah yeah it's a great time good old-fashioned uh family fun slice of americana uh you know it's uh just to give you information if you don't know ultimately it's a traditional parade with floats and people handing out, you know, you know, beads and uh, well, like they might have done away with the beads for trash purposes, uh, um, you know, yeah. refuse purposes. But there's lots of candy. Uh, I know that. Oh, you know, it's they a traditional always... parade. American yeah. flags everywhere. People barbecuing yeah. and grilling on the sidelines. It, it basically runs from uh, our office, ultimately the corner of Parsons and Lumsden, and then it heads north on Parsons, goes all the way down to. Either Oakfield or Robinson, never been down that area, but either Oakfield or Robinson kind of hangs a, hangs a left and, and continues on. But you know, people post up, they get there early, they they set up their tailgate setup or their chairs, and they uh, have a good old fashioned time. It's a uh, it doesn't kill the whole day. You know, it's on the fourth yeah. of July, which is Tuesday this year. It starts at right. ten a.m., runs till noon. Get in, get out, get on with your fourth of July. It's just a nice nice family event. Cool. So we know, I mean, we all know why it stopped happening when every gathering and every person face to face kind of stopped happening. How did it come back? Like, well, uh, the the community roundtable uh, is the traditional host of this parade for the last 60 years. They're an organization, a charitable organization here in uh, local to Brandon. They've put it on uh, every time it's been on. I, there was yeah. a little hiatus there, but uh, but they're bringing it back, and uh, I'm just trying to help spread the word. Uh, we are sponsoring the parade to help, you know, make sure it, it gets its name out there. So we'll be uh, trying to uh, put things out there just to remind people about this event because we want it to be bigger and better than it's ever been just to kind of come back with a bang and uh, no pun intended sure. for the 4th of July fireworks. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So is the are the fireworks that happen? No, no, really yeah. There's no fireworks at this same. parade. It's yeah, it's yeah. a morning to early lunch event. Sure. Uh, so it gives people plenty of time to go on to meet with Do other people, the go to the fireworks. Time. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, <clears throat> any any, what do you do? You were you a part of the parade when you were a kid? No, no. Actually, I, I know my dad and uncles. They'd been to it. They were born and raised in Brandon. Um, but no, I, I, the first one I ever did was, uh, maybe, you know, when we bought, when we moved our office location to this corner and then we were approached by the community round table. Cause apparently B. Lee Elam, oldest law firm in Brandon, who we, we purchased the building from, they have traditionally hosted the kind of voting for the honorary mayor, which is a charitable race. They run separately oh, at our man. office. And so here we are setting up our party and, you know, we're, we're like, oh yeah, go come on in. We want to keep the tradition alive, so we uh, we allow that to keep happening, and, and we're glad to be part of it. You know, um, the honorary mayor's race has been going on a long time too to benefit local communities. But for our purposes, we like to come. We set up our our Fourth of July party at our office, enjoy the parade, um, and just you know, like I said, it's hamburgers and hot dogs and apple pie, right? Yeah, yeah, man. 
Americana. So what if uh, what if people want to get involved with the parade? They want to have a float for you know their 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 group or their church or their Girl Scouts or whatever it is. Yes, yes, yeah. If, uh, basically, you would just go to the community roundtables website, which I'm sure we'll link in the description. But uh, yeah, you'll you'll reach out to them. I want to say it's extremely nominal or reasonable to have a float in the parade. Off the top of my head, I do not know. I want to say it's maybe $75 if you get in early by June 8th. If you register okay. after June 8th, I believe it becomes $150 to try to participate in the parade itself where you would, you know, line up ahead of time, do the march and uh, and, and be a part of it and yeah, put all your logos and business out there as well. Ahead of time, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very reasonable. Very reasonable. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And also, we uh, with our sponsorship, which we'll start – uh, awarding or giving out tickets for some sort of games I'm sure Jason will come up with. We have about 25 <laughs> tickets in the bandstands, if you will. So bleachers where you can, you know, you don't have to set up your own little tailgate and get there early. You'll have separate VIP section where you'll be up in the bleachers to kind of sit and, and relax and just kind of watch it. Ooh. So we have 25 of those to give away over the next month as well. So nice. want to do it, you know, people that just ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll leave that here to Scrap Fresh if you want to maybe cool. collect some uh, – some Fourth of July or Independence Day trivia out there, and whoever gets it can get a, a family pack of tickets or something like that. But uh, yeah, we got to get we'll, we'll get those out there so people can really enjoy it. Cool, cool. Well, what else? Anything else? That's, that's all I got. It's Friday. It's a sunny day. I know it's supposed to rain later, but I don't mind. I'll go play in the rain myself. It doesn't matter to me. I'm I'm ready for the weekend. It's been a long couple weeks. It's been good. Been busy. Uh, oh, not busy. I don't like that term. I learned a good one the other day. Well scheduled and productive is what it what it's been. Yeah, yeah. You gotta take busy out of your out of your nomenclature. Well scheduled and productive. Well so, scheduled and productive. In the, in the spirit of that, let, let me yeah. get back to my productivity and, and, and knock off my to-dos. Very good. That sounds great. All right, cool. Well I'll take us out and you guys all have a great weekend. Yeah. Brandon Fourth of July parade. All right.